happen. So now, right. now, Matt, you play a hard of hearing lawyer, you say. Yeah. Huh. So what I was hoping to do, because we haven't, we don't start, uh, we're ramping up right now, and we don't start, you know, production for like a month, but mm -hmm. I kind of want to explore my character my options. So I was hoping to maybe just do like a minute where like I'm a lawyer and maybe Nick, you could play a client, and James, if you could just play a judge. A judge. A judge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would just like to kind of create a scenario where I'm trying to be my character. And, and I guess any of you... If you want to ask a question or help me flush out my okay. character, um, just say time out because okay. it's hard to get out of character. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, right, totally. right. So say time out. Say time out twice. That way I know you're Tw talking to me, okay, Matt Walsh. Okay, so it's, it's not – so that way you know it's not dialogue where I'm saying time yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So good. say time out, time out, and then you can talk to me if you have any questions about the exercise. It's okay. like a basic – have you ever taken an acting course? Uh, of course not. Okay. Um, All right. Well, it's a basic. You've seen my work, right? Oh, yeah. zap. It's called flushing out the character, like at the actor's studio. We call okay. this exercise flushing out the studio. Okay, so. All right, so wait, who am I playing now? Or you can do be I... in the jury. You can be in the wait, jury. Wait, could I be another lawyer? Yeah, you could be the opposing you? lawyer. Okay, that's That'd good. be great. Am I the lawyer for the defense or for the prosecution? I am defending. You're defending this Nick. man. Okay. And you're a criminal lawyer? A murderer. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm a criminal lawyer. And you're the judge. Ooh, and then can you're... I be a rapist? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we we'll try any, that. Yeah, we we'll any? just try it. <laughs> do you? Do you well, have... I had murder. That's the only thing I've really understood. I understand the law of murder. Oh, uh, really okay. All right, I'll go back to murder. And Wait, was, you could you could have raped you could have raped. I'll, I'll have raped them and just not admitted it. He looked I'll, up the I'll right make Latin it both. phrases. I'll make it both, like rape and murder. You're, you have two charges. I'm defending you on. Okay, cool. One well, yeah. of them you're just gonna cop to. The other yeah, one we'll is cop gonna a be plate. a courtroom battle. This is really helpful. See, right now I already have my approach to the case. Okay. All right. So we we take you now. To uh, while Matt's getting into Greg, character, Greg Lincaster is my, okay. Some uh, Lincaster. Good. Okay, so uh, Matt's going to uh, get Why don't you say closing arguments, uh, Attorney Lincaster? I think that's what they say in okay. courtrooms. Can so, I please can don't I give me a line reading? No, no, I'm just giving you dialogue. You say okay. it however you want. Okay, and I'll be Borat. You... Okay. <laughs> Can my You're name my be, client? Can my name be Borat? I won't do Borat, but can my name be Borat? Just Borat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No last name. Yeah, just Borat. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so good. Heart of, All right, we take one. you now. Get into character, Matt. Yeah. We take you now to Greg Link, Linkaster's courtroom, um, the Greg Linkaster Memorial Courtroom. In the upcoming Handicapable. And the upcoming Handicapable, the Honorable Judge Greg Linkaster presiding. Hard of hearing, lawyer. Uh, uh, we come to order. We come to order now. Uh, and I'm John, uh, Honorable Judge Greg Lancaster, and I'd like to uh, open up to uh, closing arguments. Excuse here from me, my Judge. Uh, my name is Greg Lancaster, and I object to this whole trial. Wait, I'm Greg Lancaster. I know we all, no, we all, all are named Greg Lancaster except for Borat. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time out. All right. Time out, time out. Sure. That time was, out, time out. Okay, right up until that, it was part of the, di the, the scene. You're right. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. See, Matt, that's your first note that we should give you. Is if <laughs> time you out, time out. If you, if you have a question, you need to say time out, time out. You're right, you're right. Okay, because you were in character, and then all of a sudden you just dropped it. I did. Yeah. I did. Okay, so okay. time in? Time in. Here we go. Time I in, time in. I object to this whole these whole proceedings. Uh, what are your grounds for objection? This man is maybe a rapist, but obviously a murderer. I'll, so I object. Let, I object Shana, to this I? trial. It's unorthodox, but I'll let that stand. Your uh, Honor, may I? Yes. <laughs> your Honor, my client is being accused of shurder. There is no such law in the law books as shurder. We should throw this courtroom out and let Mr. Borat leave the courtroom. Schurter makes a mockery of our judicial system. Schurter, I've never heard of that word. How can you accuse a man of a crime that doesn't exist? Schurter, Counsel. why don't we say poo poo pee pee, Your Honor? Counsel, do Rape? you mean we? Yes. Do you mean the crime of murder? Schurter, yes, that is what I said. Counsel, Schurter. Counsel, do there you is mean... no such law as Schurter. Counsel, you are correct there, but it seems like you're making a mockery of this court now. I am not making crockery of anything, sir. <laughs> Schurter is not a crime. And my client, Borat, not to be confused with the movie, has maybe raped, which I will plead to later, but Schurter certainly is ridiculous. Counsel, do you mean to tell me you can't properly understand the pronunciation right, of the word? I'm going to go time out, time out. Okay, here we go. So was that good? Like, did you feel like the character... Yeah. Like, did you get that he was hard of hearing? I, I, get, I get that he's slightly hard of hearing with just one word And or just consonants. A couple words. Because <laughs> your talk's fine kind of most of the time, so it feels yeah. like... 
He just does. He just doesn't know words. He has more of an impediment. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't uh, people who are hard of hearing kind of talk funny too? Matt? Yeah, I didn't mm-hmm. want to go generic though. Like I feel like yeah. that's often you don't confused want to not... with retarded. To be honest, that's and there's true. a big difference between. I don't know if you know this. Big no. difference between hard of hearing and being uh, mentally handicapped. Really? Well, yeah. Matt, there's also Huge. a big difference between acting in a part and getting an Academy Award. You well, I'll I mean? take it. I'll take People it. People want the pathos that comes with someone struggling. I think he, this I think is why mentally. we workshop it. This yeah. is great. I think you we, want to go deep why don't at least we try once. It, why don't we try it with a voice? Let's go back in. Okay, well, time in. Time, wait, wait, time okay, out, time all right. out. Time Sean, time out. Time Sean Penn would use a voice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So a voice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get decorated by the Academy. All right. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, time in. Counsel, I'm liable to hold you in contempt of court if you don't stop this mockery and pronounce the legal terms correctly. Your Honor, Your Thank Honor, you. I have something to say. Yes, it seemed counsel. Like, it seemed like your accent changed from the beginning of this. Uh, my attitude right simply relaxed a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm I, simply sitting back in my chair, that's all. all can right. I, can I, I please close my argument, Your Honor? Uh, my client yes, is, yes, counsel, you may, you, may, you may proceed. My client is being accused of shoulder. There is no such crime as Shander. It's silly to call someone a criminal when they did something that doesn't exist. Shander is not a word. Shander is silly. It's like saying poo poo or pee pee. It doesn't happen in the world of the criminal justice system. I say we throw this case out and comp a plea for grape. Counsel, your your honor, I ought to hold you in contempt right now. Your yes, honor, yes, counsel, I agree. I was moved by his words. <laughs> I agree. I am throwing the book out uh, that I was going to throw at Borat. <laughs> All right, time out, time out. What do you think? I, good. I I thought that was a home run. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. That was really good. All right, because I'm going to bring this into rehearsal, so I, I really want I mean, honest feedback. Yeah, that's you, big. You made that other lawyer throw that book away that he was going to throw at Borat. I mean, yeah. that was... The jury. No, you were the... Okay, because I kept thinking... He was the other lawyer, see, remember? That, that is the one note I wanted to give you, Matt, is yeah. you're, you seem to be confused about who everyone else in the room I'm is. I'm not familiar <laughs> with the legal system. I honestly have well, never been in a courtroom. More than that, like when you're dealing with other actors, you really should be like, know who the other actors are playing. Okay. You know, because okay. I... Because you got me confused with someone in the jury. Did you just read your lines from the script and not the other characters' lines? Yeah, hmm. yeah. I didn't really. That's you, how I approach yeah, acting. Should, that's I just okay read for an audition. Lines. You don't care about, but if you actually have the part, you should read everyone's lines. I think. Why yeah. don't we do just for my sake? Let's just do opening statements, mm-hmm. and everyone in the courtroom just introduces himself. That way, I'll see your see, face. I just don't think that we're going to get that in the movie. I mean. Yeah. You know, uh, by the way, I'm directing the movie. I didn't tell you guys, but I, I just don't feel like we're going to Actually, Harmony that... Corinne is directing. Oh, really? Yeah. I was yeah. replaced? Harmony Corinne, yeah. For re- in real life, Harmony Corinne is directing no, this movie. That was a no but, <clears throat> Mr. Improv. Would it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all right. So, <laughs> okay. So, but uh, I, I, think you, I think you nailed that one. Are you sure? Yeah, I, th- okay. I think you did. I think you did. Why, okay. why, don't, why, don't, we, uh, why don't we go on to the second movie? What's all right, the, the next movie, movie is called yeah. Dudio City. And it's about how the Hollywood is dominated by men, mm. and uh, oh, it's starring uh, Russell Johnson, Edward James Almos, Kimbo Slice, Jeremy Piven, Kimbo Wilford, Slice, Kimbo Slice, yeah, oh okay, Wilford Brimley, the fighter, yeah, the the he's actually getting he's a big entertainer he's he's done really well he's got commercials and he's actually a really good actor I think, and um, this one is more challenging because I've never really worked on the other side of the camera, like the production and the development side. I'm mostly just an actor. So right. this is really cha- This is more of a subtle character, if you will. Okay. So this will just be, you guys are in a boardroom. Uh, the, it's a fictional network. The, it happens at a network called Jay-Z. And <laughs> okay. And, uh, the Jay-Z network? Yeah, the Jay-Z okay. network. It's broadcast right. out of Mexico? Uh, it's actually in uh, New York. It's based in New York. Oh. So there's no W, though, ahead of it. No, it's okay. just called the Jay Z Network. That's the Jay Z awesome. Network, and okay. I'm the I'm the head of the studio. And this is in the future, or this is present time. This is present time. <laughs> it's like two years uh, ago. Oh, oh so, so it's, it's in the past. Ago, it's set huh? in the past, yeah. But it looks. I mean, there's subtle things like they'll have different albums, like or CDs on the desk. But generally, you won't be thrown when you go. Oh, wait, where's this but happening? There's, there's no like newspapers that show like George yeah. W. Bush still yeah. president. It is. They'll have a shot of that. Mm. But it mostly happens in the world of like a, a studio lot. 
Okay. So not and much is new this, Is this like Christmas Carol where you can change your future? So is this like a divergent path? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the events of this movie could possibly create an alternate timeline. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, if you really buy the fiction, yeah. But I, I okay. don't really affect national policy in this movie, although I should read the script. I haven't really read it. It sounds I just like saw the surrogates. Sides. Huh? It sounds like surrogates? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen that. <laughs> so it's not like the West Wing where it has the same exact past as us, but around 1970, the timeline diverged, and all of a sudden, like, Alan Alda and people started becoming president. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see. It has a ripple effect. Okay, great, yeah. great. Okay. So um, um, you guys are uh, big shots at a studio, but I'm the biggest shot, so don't forget that okay. for your characters. Okay. All right. And um, again, my character is Greg Lindstrom. Lindstrom. This is different. Yeah. Greg okay. Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Yeah. Okay. I'm Can I have raped somebody? <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, or wait earlier today? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, like if my character- On the way to the studio? Two years previous. Mm. So two four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. If you guys want to so write this down, yeah, okay. this yeah, is actually should, a great acting exercise down. for yeah. everyone. It's good to do Wait. history of your so, character, just kind of build a foundation. We should all. Yeah. Kind of, we should You're all a take big it. actor. I've seen you in many things. You're great. I'm a big. Thank you. I'm a Hollywood you. studio big shot. You're a big shot, but I'm the biggest shot. Like I'm okay. like uh, one of the Warner Brothers back in the '40s. Okay, mm. imagine that much power coming out of me, and you're like Brandon Tartikoff, maybe, or something, and you're like uh, Les Moonves, and you're like Could I be a Fred Greg uh, Lingstrom. You're like Fred Graver. Do you know that guy? Oh. Or Jamie Tarsus. Jamie Tarsus. Okay, That's good. yeah, yeah. Jamie Tarsus. Yeah. All right, great. Okay, but I'm Tartikoff like circa like eighty. Eight, right? Yeah, yeah. like Coke, okay. like Coke he, was up. He created yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the a lot Cosby of yaki, show. a lot of yaki chan. Mm -hmm. The problem, like yaki chan. I like that. I'm gonna use that in the movie. Um, <laughs> wait a minute, that's wait, his that's, joke. All right. All right. Oh, this is like a workshop. I feel like anything <laughs> oh. you guys say, I can use in the movie. I just tell them, but at least like give like a footnote. All right, on camera. Do they do yeah. footnotes in movies these days? I've seen um, it. Yeah, they're just Groucho just, Marx used to do. Just that. Just a little number appears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My only concern is if you're a rapist that. Means Brandon Cart Tartikoff was a rapist. You're playing a historical figure. I think that's people a good buy point. It. But I bet you think he raped somebody. Yeah, I bet yeah. they could pull that off. Well, you he, know what? Why don't we start with that? Because that is the most interesting thing. So I'll call. He, I'm announcing our fall lineup. I'm okay. Greg Lindstrom, and you guys can say your names. Okay. And uh, maybe you just bring up what's on your mind. Okay, and, that sounds good. And okay. what I want you guys to focus on for me is one, my character, the subtly my character, and two, do you believe that I know how television is made? Do I? Okay. And great. I understand what's going to sell. Okay, great. Good. Okay, great. It. Okay, so we take you now while Matt gets into character. What was your character's name? Greg Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Can I do it like my character is N. played by Philip Seymour Hoffman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's great. That's All right. That's yeah, great. I like that. Okay. And I'm Jamie Tartus. Yeah. Um, played by Borat. Okay. Less Moon Vest so played by here we go. Philip Seymour uh, All right, gentlemen, come on in here. I'm very excited about our fall lineup. Nice. Uh, yeah, thank you. Why don't uh, some of you East Coasters and West Coasters introduce yourselves as I go over the fourth quarter earnings and the third quarter um, stuff? Um, I'm, I'm Les Moonves. Uh, you know, you know the part of the movie where there's the honchos and their big shots, and they come. Well, that's the part of the movie right now. That's the scene that's happening right now. And I'm Les Fucking Moonves. Okay. I'm, Thank you, Les. I'm Borat. Borat is also from way east. I'm uh, uh, Brandon uh, Tortikoff. I just, uh, <clears throat> you know, meet, meeting you guys for the first time. I just want to say that uh, I know you don't really know me, but uh, some stuff might might uh, come out in the future, and I just want to kind of do a preemptive strike and just let you know that uh, I may or may not have raped. Uh, What's that? What did you say? <coughs> Um, Don Amos. I may or may not have raped. <laughs> Rape? Rabid? Rabid? What did you say, Brandon? Come on, we have a lot of programming um, to create. He's classic. Uh, I might come out that I raped. What's on the? What's up for October? <laughs> what are you we looking raped? at for the? Uh, you raped someone? You may have raped someone? It, My it might come out there in are a couple of there are stockholders in this room. Why are you announcing it so publicly? I said it might come out. It could come out 20 years from now. All right, fine. You have no proof. All yeah. Right. Vagine. All right, I want to talk it to you after this. It was a vagine that I... 